While students were away for the summer, crews at the University of Arizona were hard at work putting the finishing touches on the new Environment and Natural Resources Building for the upcoming school year. Installing wireless internet was one of the final steps. When they were getting ready to install the wireless access points, and when they got over to this particular point, they thought it was like a little bag or something that was stuck on the end of their cable. It looked like maybe somebody put something there to protect it, but it looked like a dirty little bag. This is what one crew found hanging from the end of the cable. I didn't know what to think, to be honest with you. It's like, it's, is this something we should take down and put the access point up? Should we keep it? Well, they weren't sure, so when they climbed up on the ladder, obviously they found that it was a nest with a couple uh, eggs in it. It turns out the nest was built by a black-chinned hummingbird. The eggs were still a few days away from hatching. Kent Ridgeway sent an email asking what to do about it. Within a couple of hours, there are emails flying back and forth, and like, hey, this would be really cool if we could uh, get a webcam up there so we can, you know, watch the whole process. And um, brought it to my boss's attention. He's like, yeah, this is creating some buzz. We should definitely get a we webcam up there. In a matter of a couple of days, you know, the UITS installed a camera. They got the feed over to our department, and our IT guys got it on our website, and we started kind of promoting it or letting people know. The 24-hour live feed of the webcam was up and running. It gave us all a view into an unfamiliar world. The bird actually on the webcam probably looks, eh, at least five times bigger. There are other hummingbird cameras, but I've heard this is one of the best views of a nest that a lot of people have seen. I've watched them from a long way away in my yard, but it's the views from the webcam have been really amazing. UA staff were some of the first people to start watching, and some watched a lot. It's been really difficult. I keep a browser up at all times with the, the camera so I can keep an eye on them. When I come out to use the restroom, I'll make sure I stop by so I can uh, see how they're doing. I posted it to Facebook, and I have friends all over the world. You can tell I'm English, and there are people who are completely obsessed. I've had texts from people at 5 in the morning who are worried about the hummingbirds. As the hummingbirds were born and started to grow, so did traffic on the webcam. The live feed was picked up by Wired magazine, but got the most traffic from a UA employee who posted it to Imager, an online image sharing site. At times, there were over a thousand people tuning in to watch at the same time. Wife, kids always want to see it. When they wake up in the morning, they want to see it. Family wants to see it, work. You know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. It's been great, but also worrying because nature can be pretty raw and you're always worried, oh, the eggs aren't going to hatch, the babies are going to fall out, then, you know, something's going to happen. The nest was doing okay and then it sort of started tilting a little bit and then a little bit more and we were getting phone calls apparently from across the country from folks who were uh, worried about the plight of the babies and that they might fall out of the nest. I think there'll actually be a bit of relief when they've both flown away because we can all get on with our work. <laughs> Eventually, after some practice, one of the young birds got up enough courage to leave the nest. One reluctant fledgling remained. Its mother kept coming back and providing food while encouraging this little one to finally leave the nest. Leaving the nest. There's a lot of uh, link between that and all the parents that are going to be delivering their kids to U of A next week because there's all these people leaving the nest next week. This little bird is about to leave all it has ever known and faces an uncertain future. It is a dramatic moment. It's part of the cycle of life that happens millions of times every year all across the world, just not always dangling from a cable. A cable connected to modern technology that allowed over a quarter of a million people to watch this ancient process unfold. I think it's absolutely awesome that the hummingbirds decided to move in before anybody else did. I think it's significant and it's also very heartwarming because it's a building that's devoted to the environment, it's a building that is devoted to um, the science of the environment. In nature, you know, why did that happen? Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. I never thought in a million years you'd see something like that, you know.